Today we're uh, covering the Asus Tough X570 Plus Gaming Wi-Fi, comparing it versus the MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk, and we're going to rate all this and give it a rating at the end. Uh, so let's get this party started. Okay, so we're covering. This is the CPU support on Zen 1, which is Zen. Zen Plus was a 2500, 2600X, 3750H. And those um, APUs. Zen 2 is current, 3600, 3700X, 3800X, 3900X, 4750G etc current zen 3 is about to be released this is august 2020 so we don't have in technically any cpus or apus which is a cpu with a graphics processor um released right now and it's going to become important and i'll show you why but let's go back we're going to go rate all these things so first to the price, I've already given them both uh, one point, both good prices, around 180. You can get both of them for around 20, 30 dollars cheaper on bundles and sometimes on specials. And also you can get the non-Wi-Fi uh, version of the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus for around 165 right now. So it's cheaper than the Tomahawk with the same features all right let's go to CPU support and why I brought up these Zen uh, Zen levels Zen 3 is not released yet it should be September to December of 2020 so CPU support let's take a look at what our chipset supports. so the X570 supports up to Gen 4 PCI Express all the way across the chipset and the CPU everything there uh, both of them support USB 3.2 Gen 2 and they both have it both these motherboards have it main difference here is the other outside of the first slot um, well the PCI lanes don't have Gen 4 support but the first M2 slot does. Let's go on to the next slide here. Now this is why the CPU support becomes important. Look at what the B550 supports. It only supports Ryzen 3000 and 4000 processors. Ryzen 4000 hasn't been released yet. Um, so X570 supports Gen 1, Zen, Zen Plus, Zen 2, which is current and upcoming Zen 3 for the X570. One of the main reasons to buy X570 and it's PCIe 4 Express all across the board. Let's look at the CPU support from the manufacturer. Okay, we're looking at CPU support now and Here's the big difference between B550 and X570. You can see X570 supports Ryzen 3 2200Gs, which is Zen Plus 2200GE 2300, uh, and a lot more. Here's 2200GE down here, 2200G, um, all the way up to 4350G, 4750G. Over on the right, you can see the complete list of M MSI's Mag B550 Tomahawk. And you can see pretty much three uh, mobile processors in there that aren't even released to the public yet. They're released to OEMs, the uh, 4750G, 4650G, 4350G. Uh, there's some other processors out there like the 4800H it will not does not support so there's no APUs out there according to these guys that it supports for the B550s and that's probably across the board for all B550s now we're going to look on the left hand side the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus 
and we've got multiple pages of GPUs that it supports 2400 G 4350 G 2600 um, there's more 2400 G's 3600s so Zen plus and Zen 2 and the upcoming Zen 3 that x570 is going to support so I'm still flipping through the processor support on the Asus Tough X570 and there's no more to look at on the B550 that's it and one more page that's it for the processors CPU support on the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus as far as the memory they're both about the same um, they actually both go up to the 5100 mark here at the bottom of this list uh, they're both getting increased at the same amount and you can see over here uh, what it supports by default out of the box and then more and more all the way up to 5100 they're getting added up for like the Ryzen 4000 chips that are not released yet they're all the way up to 5100 so they're updating that list Pretty much for Zen 2, you're looking at fastest with a DLCP profile is 3600 CL14, and you can go up to 3733 or 3800 uh, megahertz on the RAM. Once you hit that or you pass that, your Infinity fabric doubles. We don't know what's going to happen on these new Ryzen 4000 chips yet or how far we can push them. They're not released. The um, At the bottom of this list, the 4750G, it's technically a Zen 2 chip. They're, and they're getting out of sync with their naming, which bothers me sometimes. And so let's go mark our sheet over here. Um, and see what I rated these things as. Let's uh, change the color. All right, so for CPU support, the Tough X570 supports a lot more processors. Uh, PCI 4 support, it has um, all the way across the board chipset, all the slots. Um, Whereas on the B550, it only has the first NVMe slot and first PCI Express slot for your GPU or PCI 4. The rest are PCI 3. Memory uh, support, I give them both a pass on that. So VRM, I think, let's see what we got on this one. They both get a pass. They're both good. Uh, one use 50 amps on the tough the other one uses 60 amps tough has two more for the CPU total 14 whereas the b550 only has 12 but they got higher amperage 60 amps on on that um, as far as the power we're gonna pull up some motherboard pictures here in a sec there's I'll stop right there for now Okay, I'm going to borrow one slide from Tech Yes City, Brian, over there. You'll see the VRM and the power draw on this B550. Tomahawk is the worst he recorded. And I'm going to take this slide off the screen since it's borrowed. And uh, now we're looking at the manufacturer side of these two VRMs on the top left. The... Both of them are good. They both cool sufficiently. They both got enough power at 600 amps. The one I just showed was the well, amps watts. One I just showed was from Tech yes City with the B550 Tomahawk pulling the most out of all he tested, the most wattage from the wall, uh, which matters on your electricity bill. So you can see both VRMs. And we're going to move on to the next item. Up at the top left, you'll see the extra ATX, or they're called EPS, Extended Power Supply, or ATX Extra, whatever you want to call them. The Asus Tough has 12, an 8-pin plus a 4-pin. Uh, the 8-pin is usually a 4x4 or a solid 8-pin. You can see the MSI Mag only has one 8-pin. 
Either one, I get a lot of questions on this. Either one of them will run with just one 8 pin. The extra on the Aces Tough Gaming X570 Plus is for overclocking. And it does matter <clears throat> on your overclock speeds. Doesn't really matter. I mean, once you get into the esoteric overclocking past uh, precision boost overdrive and auto clock 200, then it starts mattering once you start going past that and playing with AMD's Ryzen Master. Um, so that covers the VRM and the extra ATX power. Let's go just our chart and give our rating here. And da, 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 da. let's uh, make this black. Okay, and we gave it to the Aces Tough because it's got the extra eight uh, plus four pin, and that way you can get um, extra overclocking power to the CPU. All right, we're moving on to the back plate, and the next one's kind of a big deal for anybody that's got Wi-Fi at home or Bluetooth-enabled phone or both. Uh, Aces Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi has it and Bluetooth, whereas the, there is no Wi-Fi version of the Tomahawk. Uh, down below, there's another MSI-linked board that does have it that's cheaper that has Wi-Fi. Probably might be a better choice. I'll let you look at it, and I may do another video soon on all B550 versus the Aces Tough because of the price. So no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth on the MSI. Let's mark that one. Um, however, it does have a BIOS flashback button, whereas the Asus does not, which is handy if you mess it up. I've only had to do a clear CMOS before what you could do for taking out the battery. If it's extreme, 30 minutes, take out the big battery for 30 minutes. Otherwise, load optimized default works a lot of the time. So it's got that. That's a plus for the MSI. Um, I'm going to cover both the USB right now. Um, they're both pretty good except the MSI has one more the important one here is USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 um, and the you can see on the left hand side it's the MSI B550 so you've got one 2 by 2 20 gigs and over on the which there's very few products that are actually running that high you might need a thunderbolt display and i don't even know if this supports that so this is kind of an oddball if it's even correct it says 10 by the port so i think it's mislabeled on their sheet it's really a usb 3.2 gen 2 not a 2 by 2 because even on the back plate it says 10 which that is not a 2x2 two two. so mis misprint right here so you got two of them over here on the Aces Tough we have three we got two type A's right here and one type C which I use this type C to go into um, I have a review on a Juice Systems Vertex hub and so everything that's going into that hub is uh, 3.2 all right, we're moving on to the back plate, and the next one's kind of a big deal for anybody that's got Wi-Fi at home or Bluetooth-enabled phone or both. Uh, Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi has it and Bluetooth, whereas the, there is no Wi-Fi version of the Tomahawk. Uh, down below, there's another MSI-linked board that does have it that's cheaper that has Wi-Fi might be a better choice I'll let you look at it and I may do another video soon on all B550 versus the Aces Tough because of the price so no Wi-Fi no Bluetooth on the MSI let's mark that one um, however it does have a BIOS 
flashback button, whereas the Asus does not, which is handy if you mess it up. I've only had to do a clear CMOS before, which you could do for taking out the battery. If it's extreme, 30 minutes, take out the big battery for 30 minutes. Otherwise, load optimized default works a lot of the time. So it's got that. That's a plus for the MSI. Um, I'm going to cover both the USB right now. Um, they're both pretty good, except the MSI has one more. The important one here is USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2. Um, and the you can see on the left hand side it's the MSI B550 so you've got one 2x2 two two, 20 gigs and over on the which there's very few products that are actually running that high you might need a Thunderbolt display and I don't even know if this supports that so this is kind of an oddball if it's even correct it says 10 by the port so I think it's mislabeled on their sheet it's really a USB 3.2 Gen 2 not a 2x2 two because two. even on the back plate it says 10 which that is not a 2x2 two two. so mis misprint right here so you got two of them over here on the ACES stuff we have three we got two type A's right here and one type C which I use this type C to go into um, I have a review on a juice systems vertex hub and so everything that's going into that hub is uh, 3.2 I'll try to cut that up so you got three um, and over here on the B550 board, the MSI, we've got USB 2 on the back. I don't even have any USB 2 on the Asus Tough. It's all USB 3.2 Gen 1 or Gen 2, which means all these ports right here are faster, 5 gigabytes instead of the what, whatever 2 is, 400 megs, 10 times slower, I don't remember, a lot slower. So we only got two 3.2 Gen 1s here. What we do have extra of is the 1 gigabyte LAN, 2.5 gigabit LAN, which, uh, unless you got a 2.5 gigabyte LAN switch, which most people don't, they got their normal 1 gig on their router, but some people do. Um, you can go faster that way, but not through the Wi Fi. Um, the Wi-Fi on this Ace is tough is 802.11 AC, which is Wi-Fi 5. Um, I think it's 200 megs. It's, um, it's pretty fast. It goes as fast as I can push it to my internet provider. It goes full throttle through the Wi-Fi. And <clears throat> the other thing I want to point out this Asus X570 Tough has one of the best mic input shields for um, signal to noise ratios and radio frequency shielding, which means you'll, out of all motherboards, B550 and X550, as far as the mic, um, it's got one of the best overall. And I'm not even sure where I put the mic right here. So let's, since I covered mic, I want to go ahead and mark that black. Um, I've got the USB. All right, so back to this. <clears throat> Neither one of these, the HDMI port, is only 1.4B on both of them. I don't know. Um, I think I was watching Lawrence Choice. Since 2018, they should only put be putting HDMI 2 or 2.1 just came out this year. But HDMI 2, which will get you up to 4K60, the display port right above these does that 4K60, and the exact specs are listed. But these HDMI ports, you only be able to get up to, once you do get, if you do get a mobile processor in there with a APU, advanced processing, graphics included inside the CPU. 
Uh, you'll only be able to get up to 2K, which is 25, whatever it is, 40 by 1440 off your HDMI. No 4K 60, which is what the cheap 4K 60 monitors are, 4K 60 hertz. So that's bad on both. So we're going to give both of those a, uh, let's see what they're rated here. Both, neither one of them got a point on this. And let's see, on the display port, they both got a one. They both do 4K 60 and in between at higher resolutions. All right, we're going to go take a look at the motherboard. Both of these support crossfire in these two long by 16 slots. However, the bottom one uh, on the MSI mag is only PCI 3, whereas it's PCIe 4 um, on the bottom long slot on the Asus Tough X570 which is twice the bandwidth of the bottom one on the MSI Meg 50 550 because it's PCI 3 this one right here so that one crossfire let's go rate this all right so tub all right, so on the MS, I got the button one for the BIOS flashback button. It got a half a point on the USB just simply because it's got some that are USB 2 and on the back, and the Asus only has 3.2 Gen 1 and Gen 2 on the back. Neither one of them got anything for the HDMI because they're both using older HDMI ports. Both good on DisplayPort. Two way crossfire, both good. All right. Both of these boards have eight SATA slots. Now the whole point of these M2 NVMe drives is they're up to 10 times the speed on PCIe 4, up to 5 gigabytes, whereas 500 or so megs, 540 on the SATA drives, the older, smaller SATA drives, electronic ones which are faster than hard drives. Okay, but they both got eight, so they both got a one. On the PWM fans, I think I gave this to the MSI. I did because it has eight as opposed to a six plus one on the uh, Asus. Um, I, what I, I want to say about that is between this RGB and PWM fans, I think I also gave it to MSI here, is they make... Um, Controllers and splitters, ports like 10 port PWN and 10 port uh, ARGB, you control everything off one controller. Corsair has them, which are expensive, where you can get some cheap brands, really cheap for like under 10 bucks. Um, like if you look on AliExpress or somewhere like that. Okay, so overall. Here's my rating, my pick, and it's only my opinion, and the higher number wins. Uh, 13 points for the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus versus 9.5 for the MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk. Now, there's, there's nothing wrong with the Mag 550 Tom, Tomahawk. It just doesn't have the CPU support, the PC, all complete PCIe 4 across the board. The VRM uses the most juice out of all the boards that we've seen tested. Other than that, it's a close, close match. And there is a cheaper version of the Asus Tough Gaming X570 without Wi-Fi. It's $15 cheaper than the Mag Tomahawk. However, I have seen the MSI Mag 550 Tomahawk coming in at like $159.99, $20 cheaper at regular sale price, at one location, off and on. So I think the price is going to drop on that one. So overall rating, my pick right here, 13 points, Asus Tough wins, Asus Tough X570 wins. So thanks everybody for watching, please do hit that subscribe button, 
Uh, follow me on Twitter. Like, like the videos. Watch some of my live streams. And thanks again. And there's the rating right there. <laughs>